Our advice is to take time for yourself, make sure that you have a good balance between work and also your own personal life because you can only really be the best teacher you can be um, when you are at your best. So make sure that you're getting a lot of sleep and exercising, and eating well, and then you can really put your, first, your best foot forward. I would say that you can't do everything, but everything you do really makes an impact every day. And if it's just being yourself and the value that you instill, also makes a difference in your life. My first advice for you would be to do your best, which you always do, and you're doing better than you think. So even if you're being hard on yourself, you're your biggest critic, enjoy it, and every day you're making a difference. Uh, make sure you get a star mentor early and uh, utilize them as much as possible. They're a great help. The advice I'd like to give to next year teachers is that collaboration really makes a difference. To really go out and push yourself to collaborate with other teachers and use them as resources in the building to help you out throughout the year. I was taking risks in your first year. I had a lot of fun trying out different things that I hadn't done before while I was student teaching. Um, and tried a lot of different practices with lessons and like stations and differentiation and having students lead lessons and do presentations and sometimes the group work type stuff flopped and sometimes it didn't but I learned a lot from it and I think the kids learned a lot from it. Uh, persevere and make sure you do a great job and focus on what you did with your students rather than what you wish you did or what um, you didn't do. Don't focus on the negative, focus on all the positive. Congratulations. Don't be overwhelmed. Do something for yourself. Um, the best word of advice I have is communicate, collaborate, communicate, collaborate. Get to know your other staff. Um, go in, introduce yourself, make it warm and friendly, and the more you know your staff, the better it's going to be for student engagement and for peer collaboration and communication. So, good luck. Plan, plan, plan. Show up early. Um, get ready to do a lot of grading. Um, be prepared at least a couple weeks in advance. That, that was sort of my timeline for things. Um, but also be prepared for things to change very quickly. It's the power of perspective. It's all about how you look at it. It can be utterly overwhelming and really challenging and you sometimes feel like you just want to give up, but sometimes it just takes a shift in your perspective and um, focusing on what's going well, what you know, what you bring to the table, um, and try to focus on that and not everything you have to learn because there's a lot to learn. Steal from each other, steal from your friends, other teachers, observe other teachers. Ask for help. Ask for help, ask for help, ask for help because you will receive it. If you teach them the way they are, that is the way they'll stay. If you teach them how they could be and should be, that's how they will become. And you have tomorrow to do it all over again.